guys welcome to testing academy my name is pramod and in this video we're going to talk about a very interesting topic which is what exactly is the exploratory testing how to do it properly and i'm going to show you practical example how to test a particular web application suppose they it is given and what are different tools that i personally use and that you can use uh, also and i'm going to show you some practical example where we, we will be testing a particular web application and we'll basically note in down exactly what we have found and that will help us to understand better what exactly is exploratory testing and there are different tools with practical example all right so let's get started i'm going to give you one download link also a particular guide about the exploratory testing also in the end so make sure you watch till the end all right so let's get started all right so before we start guys i just wanted to give you that if you want to become a better qa if you are someone who is basically trying to switch from manual to automation or if you are serious about the automation testing do check out the different playlist that i have created it's a 30 days list trust me you can finish them in probably 7 days if you are serious about it it's basically i have created 30 days of automation testing uh, selenium with framework with api testing postman as well as i just showed karate api testing right and all of that you can check them over the sd.live Uh, slash thirty days. So make sure you open that link and subscribe to the channel and make sure you pay attention. All right. So let's jump into the video. All right. So uh, first of all, the question is, what exactly is a uh, exploratory testing? Right. If you uh, if you know what uh, the exploratory testing basically comes from a person who is basically the Cam Kerner who basically coined this term in two thousand. Uh, I think it's very old. It's around twenty five years back. right he has coined the term it's basically a style of software testing where if you see they emphasis on the personal freedom and responsibility uh, a individual tester basically try to explore the application right and they don't have any kind of a requirement for the uh, for the application so basically uh, they will be given a particular web application or it can be another it can be any kind of application right they will explore it and uh, based on that they will basically have uh, increased their understanding they will learn from it and they will note it down what exactly they have done and uh, it will help them to find the bugs early but the problem sometimes drawback is that uh, since you don't have requirement you will understand a certain feature as a bug right so that can be the issue all right so uh, let's uh, quickly jump exactly uh, with the definition of the exploratory testing which is very important sometimes people ask you this interview right it basically a style of software testing that emphasizes on a personal freedom and responsibility of an individual tester to continue optimize the quality of his work and trace uh, and treating test uh, test related learnings test design execution so basically it basically means you are provided with a application right suppose it's a web application right you will learn that application you will basically understand based on your previous understanding you will understand it you will explore it you will play around with the application that we will show in the practical example wait for it and based on that you will basically design your test case and whatever the learning that you have you will note it down if you find any inconsistency you will note it down as a bug right so there may be a chance where you uh, it's a feature but you are understanding it as a bug so you can do that right uh, in the agile models it basically means discovery investigation and learning what you are doing with the product right explore it as, explore the system while testing in a very simple manner right and sometimes it is also called as uh, on the fly testing right uh, there is no test case right test case is generally are determined during the test case when you are doing it right you will determine it focus is on the exploring the application that's it so you will provide it a application you will just explore it you play around you don't do monkey testing which is basically click 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 no you will understand for example it's a Uh, CRM, right? It's a particular, for example, a user is created, right? And there is a particular form, right? You are basically trying to understand what exactly it does, right? What are different fields? How they behave when I do it? So you are exploring it, learning it, right? No requirement, I would say. There is uh, sometimes there is no requirement, and there is uh, there is uh, known as very less requirement. If someone is saying there is no requirement, it doesn't mean that. Uh, the, it can be like it can be very have very less requirement in that case, right? check the functionality in a very ad hoc manner right objective is very simple it's just to find bugs early right so that's what you are want it's an approach not a technique okay so make sure you pay attention and according to the atlantian uh, which is basically a 
uh, very good tool which provide test management tool jira and other things uh, its exploratory testing is suited for the specific uh, specific testing scenarios such as when someone needs to learn about the product so if you want to learn about the product you can do the exploratory testing in that case okay so i hope that is clear right now that you have in a very simple manner it's just about discovery investigation and learning about the product that you are doing and finding the bugs as quickly as possible okay so uh, what exploratory testing is not it's not a random or a macet testing okay so make sure you pay attention sometimes if you do click 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 you do stress testing that is different thing it is about learning discovery and uh, investigation okay how to do it uh, prepare notes it's very simple you can have a time box where you will just uh, have a session based for example uh, i'll take 60 minutes i will explore the application i will create these are things that i have done and i'll note it down the box straight forward right learn observe and then come up with the new test cases that you can also do practical example i'm going to show you the same simple example right uh, tools different tools you can use for exploratory testing it can be bug magnet right so let me show you what, what exactly it is these are basically some chrome extensions uh, let me say if i'm able to open it okay uh, okay right so okay it, it has opened so bug magnet is a basically a chrome extension i believe yes so you can basically use it uh and there are a couple of like free uh, there's a video recorder that you can use to do. basically whenever you are exploring the application if you need any kind of uh, if you found certain bug you can uh, basically present to the developer exploratory testing chrome extension that you can also use uh, spira capture exploratory testing tool that you can use so you you will find these links in the description so make sure you download the mind map okay uh let's be bef uh, before uh, jump into it i'm going to show you the practical example okay so let me move myself here let me make a little smaller so suppose this is a orange crm okay this is a crm application and here i'm basically adding a new user okay so this is the application that is presented to me and i have to do exploratory testing right so what i have understood is that so i'm uh, i'm going to use the test body it's a if you know it's a session based like, uh testing uh for exploratory testers so what you exactly is happening is i'll just note it down i'll do this testing for 10 minutes and in the planning i'll just note it down that i have to test the application this application so i'm going to just open the uh i can add my notes like testing uh testing this link okay that's a very simple way and now i start exploring and i had a time in notes so i'll just uh, note it down what exactly i have found okay so if you see i have opened my developer tools also so what i am i am able to find is that if you hover over it here i found that it's it's a form and there is a post request the form name is fr system right so i am doing exploratory testing and i'll just note it down that uh not right session has started so basically now i can mention that okay it's a form this is i have explored the application right and this the name of name is uh so i have given name is this right and it's a post call okay so that i have noted down now i'll just uh, mention that okay this is the name so if i do this okay, if i do if there is no found i'll get this uh, employee doesn't exist so i have explored the application and learned that it is giving us error if uh, use if we are not able to find any user right and it's a required field so i can mention that here so add a note that uh, employee must exist and known exist employee uh, gives error okay so something like this i'll just keep on adding and i can also add media for example suppose i have taken some screenshot i'll just add a random screenshot right now and this will add a screenshot also so this is my exploratory testing going on it's a session based and if you see uh, i'll take 10 minutes to test this application and uh, i'll basically figuring i am just learning about this application so username i can take any username uh, for example if you see uh, a it's it should it should be more than five characters so i have explored the application and figure it out right and uh, let's see how much how much it can take so if you do you can see the maximum character also you see let's see if they have max length so they have max length of 40 right so let's do one thing let's copy paste and try to save it uh so we can use a suggest password and see right so it's saving right so it is working fine 
so i have saved successfully so let's do one thing let's quickly add another so that's who the eventually you got the point right i mean now let me make sure myself little bigger so my point here is that very simple you are just exploring this web application right you're learning about it how to add a particular person and you are basically figuring out uh, what are the required checks what are different things are there how if we are able to add the add it or not if you are not able to add it right what are the api requests going on so if you see in the network tab uh, suppose i have entered uh, suppose i have selected this username any this so it, it's giving us already exist right so i'll just enter a few few things so just a strong password and i'll just add uh qqq right and if i hit save so if you see there is a particular request going on right so that request uh, that you are able to see for example the request was save right save user right it's a post request uh, where you are sending these information right so that's how i'm exploring the application and i'm basically noting down somewhere like what exactly i have found okay so this is uh, a wrong uh, uh, wrong uh, i mean say photo but uh, eventually you get the point right so you'll we'll just take the photo and add it so that's exactly is how uh, the so exploratory testing works okay so what are the benefits it it basically means you need less preparation because you are eventually get it directly you will find important bugs whatever the different bugs there uh, it's very intelligent at simulating uh, process uh, deductive reasoning based on the results so you can deduct the results of what's happening so i have added a user right now if i use another same name it basically saying that uh, it already exists so i have basically uh, know that okay based on my previous uh, data it's basically responding back responding back uh, most of the bugs are discovered in some tough exploited testing most of the time the disadvantage are that the tests are intended and performed on the fly so they cannot be reviewed so it basically means i'm testing a little exploratory way i'm not going in a scripted way step by step right i'm just testing here and there and just say, adding it so uh, they can the test cases that i'm writing are can't be reviewed but only my session can be reviewed that i oh, have tested this uh, as exploring the application right i would suggest download this guide about the exploratory testing if you want to know more about it i'm going to give you certain more links in the uh, description make sure you check this out okay so that's what uh, all about uh, starting getting started as exploratory testing and do it in a, with a practical example i hope you have learned something new all the links are in the description you can download the mind map you can check out how i've done it using test buddy or you can use another tools like for example it can be a simple video recorder bug magnet another tools like for example exploratory testing chrome extension or speeda capture to basically capture all the details for your exploratory testing all right session based i mean thank you for watching i hope you have learned something do make sure you if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe right now because i create lots of awesome videos about the software testing and development right and uh, make sure you like the video so that it helps algorithm and it help other people all right thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video thanks it's your host pramod welcome to the testing academy bye